Barry, you're sitting next to me, so I will start with you. Uh, you joined this group a little later. Uh, you've played two years here. Uh, talk about uh, your experience coming in and joining this senior class and, and what St. Francis you know, has meant to you, what you will remember from SFU years from now, uh, you know, as you uh, think back or, or uh, look back on your career at St. Francis. Yeah, St. Francis means a lot to me. Um, you know, I came in here a little later than some of my peers with me at this moment. But, um, you know, as soon as I came in, I felt very welcome. I was very thankful for that because you miss out on, you know, some years of gaining memories together. But uh, for them to, you know, invite me in and take me as their brother, uh, it means a lot. Um, you know, coming in, I, I felt like I was a little burnt out from football, but I'm appreciative that St. Francis has given me the opportunity to compete and learn to love the game again because it's, you know, very important. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to hold a grudge when I was going to leave football, but I feel that, um, you know, this my opportunity here at St. Francis has uh, really changed my mind on football and, um, you know, I'm going to go out happy and the way I wanted to. I know I'll miss everything about St. Francis, but one of my favorite funny stories was um, is my second game here, and we were playing Wagner. It was an ESPN3 game, and Coach Long has this whole, you know, rules on when to take a shot, when not to take a shot. And, uh, you know, there was this one particular down and distance, and I didn't take a shot because it went against what he said. And when I got on the headset, he said, do you not like throwing touchdowns? You know, so that kind of made me laugh. My time at St. Francis here has been uh, pretty great. I got to play all four years, and uh, something that I'll remember is just St. Francis giving me an opportunity to play uh, college ball, especially Division One. It was always a dream of mine, so I'm really appreciative. Something I definitely won't miss are 6 a.m. conditionings. Um, it was pretty hard to get up for. But uh, a funny story was uh, when we were down at Liberty after uh, a big – fourth down stop I we were running off the field and I went up to chest bump coach Pecora and he kind of just like fell down and like and I caught him and I was like are you all right and he was like I just kind of blacked out there for a second he got so excited and uh, uh yeah I'm gonna miss coach P. St. Francis to me is um the place where I like built a lot of friendships and a lot of memories that I'll remember forever um I think one in particular was Two years ago when we won a ring here, clinched it against CCSU, I think that's one of the – definitely the highlights of my uh, career here. The grind of it all, I guess. Like getting up for early meetings, practicing when it's freezing cold outside, all that's just like it, – it wears on you, but also like that's what makes the game great is because you can succeed through – like past that. Uh, I think for me, coming to such a small school, I was a little nervous. I uh, didn't know what to expect. But I'm definitely glad a decision I made. Made a lot of great friends here. Um, definitely uh, glad I got to play uh, five years of college football and got to bring the first uh, NEC championship to St. Francis. I think, like Bruni said, one thing we won't miss is 6 a.m.s. And another thing is, is camp. You know, it's the four weeks of just grinding, and you know, you don't really get to see anybody. You don't really get to see family for such a long time. But you're just with like everybody on the team. You know, it, it, it can be fun at times too. For me, St. Francis, um, it's all about the people. I think the people are what make it special here. I think it's different from a lot of a lot of different places around the country, and I think that's what makes it special. From from the friends sitting around the table to coaches, I've made um, lifelong connections that that really have made this here as great as as great as the football has been and and the athletic side of it. It's the people around it, the people that you're with every day, that really that really set it apart from everything else. Go race. Where are we going from? 20? Alright, ready? That's the most I've that's the most I've run in months. For me, it's it's a lot different. Everybody here is talking about that grind. For me, there's not much of that physical grind. I mean, kicking takes a toll on your body, but for me it's more mental. So I guess that's one thing I'm not going to miss is just the mental relief of not having to be like locked in and ready to go all the time. Uh, in terms of funny stories, it's tough to get real particular with this because if you don't know him, it's not the same. But over in our corner, we have a lot of free time. So some things I'm going to miss is definitely just 
listen to to Andrew Zecker, our punter, tell some stories. He's he's a character, and you know he has a couple catchphrases. We anybody on the team knows. Every time he's walking in the room, everyone's like, "Oh, here we go." He he he's just he's a character, and I think hanging out in that corner, I'm, I'm gonna miss him a lot. I think with it being a smaller program, that's what made a lot of our relationships closer and tighter. So I'm very like proud and happy to be a part of something like this and also of course bringing the championship being a part of that for the first time was a very proud moment something i won't miss definitely is getting up in the morning for 7 a.m meetings uh also log rolls one time during camp i had to do log rolls and if anybody seen me after i almost died i thought so i appreciate not doing those no more i can't really think of like like anything that I won't miss, because I, I found fun in all of it. Like even the seven a.m. Like I woke up at seven a.m. this morning and just just laughing. Like I found fun in all of it. Um, St. Francis for me has been like um, been a very special, special time. You know, um, something I'll definitely never forget. And um, I've I met some 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 lifelong friends here. It's kind of it's kind of sad that it's coming to an end, but obviously I'll never forget uh, winning the ring here. I'll never forget the night game versus Duquesne. Uh, I'll never forget any of it, to be honest. I'm just thankful that I got this opportunity.